Hi everybody. I hope everyone is having a really happy Mother's Day. I know that I am. Well, as a tribute to my mother and my grandmother, who are so instrumental in me becoming the woman that I am, the mother that I am, and of course the cook that I am, I would like to do a tribute to something that they used to make all the time when I was a kid, and that is a salmon croquette. And it was done out of an affordability, out of a convenience. My mom would come home from work and really just hate to think of putting a lot of stuff together for dinner. So she would pull out her can of salmon and she'd mix an egg and some salt and pepper and she would, you know, put that uh, loving little saltine cracker crumbs around it and put it in the pan and that would be our dinner. My dad's fresh cut french fries and our coleslaw and cornbread. And I really remember that as a great meal. Well, my grandmother did it too, and we used to eat them all the time, but I'm going to take them to a new level today. I'm going to do a couple of little change-ups and add a few things that weren't used before. And uh, first of all, I'm going to start with a smoked salmon, and uh, I think it's a really great addition instead of the canned salmon. And I'm going to add some green onions, some fresh dill, some fresh parsley. Um, Put it all together using some panko breadcrumbs instead of cracker crumbs. Sorry, Mama. And I'm going to introduce all of it to Philly cream cheese, which will make it an amazing, amazing recipe. I'm going to make it a little smaller for an appetizer portion, but I know that my grandmother would love this, and I think I'm going to have to make it for my mama when she gets back home. She's visiting my brother in Texas right now. So let's get started with the ingredients and making our wonderful Philly smoked salmon baby cakes. Our ingredients include 12 ounces of Philly cream cheese softened. We've got six ounces of smoked salmon right here chopped up. In this little container I have two green onions chopped including the green parts, one tablespoon of fresh Italian parsley chopped, and two tablespoons of fresh dill chopped. For our breading, we are going to use a half a cup of all-purpose flour, and I've seasoned this flour with salt and pepper. We have two large eggs that we've whisked together, and two cups of panko breadcrumbs that I've added some Italian parsley to as well. We are also going to add a little dash of hot sauce and some freshly ground pepper. So we're going to put some things in the food processor. First, we're going to take our softened cream cheese. Stick that in there. And our smoked salmon. I chopped it up a little bit so I can give it a little head start and I don't have to create salmon paste with the food processor. We are going to um, bring this together until it comes together pretty smoothly, but we want to leave a few chunks in it. So I will start out by putting that together. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> it's plugged in now. Isn't that funny? Okay, so it doesn't come together too long. We don't want it liquidy. I'm going to bring the, the uh, mixture down from the sides and we're going to add a couple of other things. This is the green onions, the parsley, and the dill. Bring that in here. Mmm. I love the smell of fresh dill. It always reminds me of pickles because my grandmother made lots and lots of pickles when I was a kid. And they were good. A little bit of hot sauce. Depending on what, what you like, you can add a little more. And my favorite cream cheese accompaniment pepper. Nice, gorgeous pepper. And you'll notice we didn't put any salt in here. Uh, the salmon is pretty salty on its own, so we don't need to add that, but we do have a little bit of salt in the flour uh, that we're going to be dipping it in. So this, I just want to pulse five times. So it really, it brings it together, but it doesn't liquefy, it doesn't make everything get to two combined. So we still like some of those chunks in there. Alright, now the next process, some people 
get a little annoyed by having to have something sit in the refrigerator, but it's important because we are going to be frying these babies and we want to make sure that they're nice and cold so when we fry them they don't, you know, start to fall apart. And if you can hear that in the background, that would be my son playing downstairs. It is Sunday and it's Mother's Day, so that's what you're hearing. Um, we are going to take uh, spoonfuls and we're just going to drop them on this baking sheet. And they're not going to be very big, so I've, I've got a recipe for about 24 cakes, so um, a 12, 12 person sit, serving so that you know each one of them that gets um, two. But I'm just going to put these out onto this pan and I'm going to stick it in the oven for 30 minutes and, I'm sorry, in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and they are going to get nice and solid and then we're going to bread them and fry them. So I'll see you in half an hour. So our little baby cakes set in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and they are nice and firm now and we don't have to worry about them falling apart. So I'm going to put them in the seasoned flour. And you know, I don't care how many times I've done this in my life, I always end up getting messy hands with both hands. I cannot, for the life of me, remember to leave both of my hands, you know, one of them clean and one of them working in the mixture. So, I'm going to try and do that today. <laughs> but you want to put them in the flour first and drizzle that around, pat it like a little baby's butt, and shape it into your beautiful little patty. And look, see, I already did it. Isn't that funny? Oh well, old habits die hard. Egg wash and panko. Beautiful parsley. And I have about a half an inch of peanut oil in here. Really, really hot. And these things are going to fry really fast. We're going to have the four that I have ready in here into the hot peanut oil. Be really careful because it is very hot. You know, I was really very fortunate and it was such a blessing because I got a chance to grow up right next door to my grandmother. And there was a little well-worn path on her her front lawn that was mostly my responsibility. But I would spend a lot of time with my grandmother sitting with her on her bed as she read her stories and talked to the other ladies from the church on her phone. And she was just a dear, dear person to me. And I am so glad that I actually have the same thing happening in my own home with my parents living with me and my children having the opportunity to be in the home with their grandparents has been completely invaluable and a wonderful thing. So look at this. These guys are almost ready already. They, they really come together very quickly, very nicely. And that panko makes them so crispy and yummy. But the insides, oh, it's just a piece of heaven. So I'm going to drain these out on a paper towel. Do you like the smell of that, Sydney? Does that smell good? <laughs> Sydney likes salmon too. All right. I have a couple of little sauces I'm going to put together and then we're going to take a bite. I'll be right back. So I have my beautiful baby cakes here and to serve them I would put them on a beautiful plate of herbs like I have here. This is baby dill and um, the parsley. I have some lemon wedges. I also love to serve these with, this is an extra hot cocktail sauce. And this one over here is a sour cream with um, a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon, <laughs> that would be hot, a teaspoon of horseradish. So I think I'm gonna try it with that, because that is one of my favorite flavors. And a little squeeze of lemon. Mm -mm. My grandmother would love this. So here's to you, Grandma. You would really love this. These uh, salmon baby cakes, smoked salmon baby cakes, meet up with Philly. It's heavenly. Just like you. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.